Oh hey, I didn't see you there. Right now, I'm just enjoying the current Maple Story event. You know, just exploring the maps, playing the mini games, getting the rewards. Everything is so peaceful right now. Why don't we all just relax and enjoy this game? I am mad! Why am I mad? Because I am! I was casually browsing this one website that tells you a lot of statistics about Maple Story, and I looked at this. Only 1.11% of people playing Lara after level 260. Some may think, yeah, it's not a popular class. It's fine. It's okay that she has 1.11%. I mean, look at all the other. You see that? That shit! Yes, that guy! That guy is only two ranks below Lara. Can you believe that? This guy. Anyway, I'm on a mission. I'm going to explain to you, persuade you why you should be playing Lara. Let's get it! Now, firstly, Lara has access to a lot of bossing utilities. So what kind of bossing utilities does Lara have? Well, firstly, she has a built-in bind. Not to mention, she has blink. She also has iframe. She also has access to Heaven's Door. Uh, it, it, well, it's yourself only, but Heaven's Door. Not only that, she also has debuffs and buffs for your party. She can grant IED debuff to the enemy bosses. She can also grant damage boost to your party members. She can also grant you attack speed for your party members, and I don't recommend this on people with ADHD. But that's not it. Lara is good not for just these reasons. I now here have a rock statue of a panda raccoon hybrid. I will now proceed to show you what a combo looks like for Lara. That's it! It took like 20 seconds and your burst was over. Simple. Bossing isn't the only reason why Lara is good. In fact, I like to divide the characters into two categories. A bossing character or a non-bossing character. And Lara fits into the non-bossing character. And what does that mean? Well, she doesn't excel too much at bossing, but she does excel at farming. Now, why is she good at farming? I like to explain Lara's farming as two-button farming. Why is it two button farming? Well, because she presses attack button and up. And that's it, you clear the entire map. And I'll demonstrate to you how I farm with Lara. Yeah, it's that easy. So what did we learn about Lara? Firstly, she's a very easy character to play for both bossing and farming. She is so easy that it makes Dawn Warrior players look like a professor at a university. And secondly, she has access to a lot of utilities. And thirdly, she has really good synergy with other party members. But if these are all the pros of playing Lara, what are the cons? I hope you are now convinced to play Lara. This is how good Lara is, and this is how you betrayed her. And with that, I am now going back to the event map. Bye-bye.